These are the words of the captain. This is the podcast where me, the captain, talks about whatever's on my mind. I talk about whatever I want to talk about. So, um, you know, that's what I do here. We're just kind of talking about random stuff. You know, the week will go by. And I will, I will, I will observe the world, observe life, view various things, you know, watch different things, hear different conversations, see different stuff in the news, in real life, on the internet. And just basically, I come out here and I talk about those things. You know, just whatever, any kind of topic, basically, whatever, man. And, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do here. And today's words are perception. All right, so when I was out, I was living. I was out living life this week. I'm doing things, talking to people, going outside, experiencing the world. You know, just living life. You know, like we all do. We all live in life. You all doing what you're doing on the end of the other, other end of this microphone. You live in life. I'm living life, I'm doing different things, experience different things. You know, I'm talking, having conversations. And as I'm having these conversations this week with various people about different things and different subjects, I have this one conversation where I'm talking to this gentleman, and this gentleman's like, you know. Oh, one the lines and then we're talking about something he's like yeah well someday you'll have a girlfriend you, you, you'll have a girlfriend you know what I'm talking about so um, from from where this gentleman's sitting from where he's sitting at um, his perception of me was that I did not have a girlfriend I did not have a girlfriend I will have one soon I never had one so for the way this gentleman viewed me he perceived that I did not have a girlfriend and would have one soon never had one never experienced it and that led me to think about perception this week because like um, you know when we all look at things the way I look at something whatever it's a picture it's a person it's a, it's a video it's a, it's a scene it's nature whatever it is I look at that 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 uh, that, that scenery or whatever I'm looking at and I, I, I view it a certain way in a certain fashion so you on the other this microphone you look at the same thing I'm looking at and you will view it from a certain perspective fashion as well and then we all look at these things based on our prior experiences based on our biases based on our our, our bringing up where we were raised at based on maybe the language we use based on these various variables we all can see the same situation or so, uh, situation thing person place uh, whatever different you know I mean, I heard that dude talk about that. The way he looked at me, he perceived me in that fashion based on those things. But I didn't know I gave that vibe off, you know, because it's because I have had a girlfriend in the past. I have numerous girlfriends, actually. I'm currently not married, but I've, I've experienced, I'm not an idiot. I've experienced having, with, being with women, you know, a lot. But this gentleman perceived me as not to have done, done that. And I'm not saying this because I'm mad or angry, because there's nothing like, I can care less. I don't really care what nobody thinks about, to be honest with you. But I just want to state that it's interesting how different people can perceive me differently based on what they think and how they feel. There's a movie that was way that came out way back there. Talk about that. I think it's the 50s or 60s by Kira. I can't remember his last name. I don't want to say his last name because I'm doing this, but Kira something. He's a Japanese uh, director and he did a movie called Motion Man. And in Motion Man, um, something goes down in this movie and these different people see it and they'll have these differences on how they view that particular instance. I think um, Vantage Point that came out a few years back too, recent in the last decade, um, that was kind of, I don't know if it was based on Motion Man, but it was very similar. But it was like it was a current day setting. The whole plot seemed very much like Motion Man. I have to look it up to see if uh, if that was actually based on Motion Man or Motion Man or not because it seemed very similar. It seemed like an updated version of it. But in Vantage Point, it's the same thing this this assassination goes on i think is what happened and these different people see and they see how they see from the different viewpoints i'm pretty sure that's how the movie went i could be mistaken i'm pretty sure how that goes but anyways the whole the whole thing i'm trying to say here is that in that film and films they see these this perspective they see this in different perspectives on that and um that happens all the time in life all the time we all view things differently and i think a lot of the reason that we argue and fight and complain and can't ever get along and, and agree on things is because everybody sees things differently we all see things so differently we just we, we, we all we look at told all these different things and we see things so differently and a lot of conflict arises for that unfortunately you know what i mean we're very strong in our beliefs i i, I am as well everybody is we believe this we think this we know this and um this is the way we see it and we think this is right and these people on the, the, the other side are looking at it or the, over there or over here they're looking at it and then they they think the same way that i'm looking at this i'm right this is how it is this is what it's about and this this is how i see it and this i'm the correct and this is the right view but really um 
from from seeing that sh- that book or from reading that book in the Grove that Butch Brosman is based on, from seeing the movie, from experiencing life. I mean, is there really a, is there really a, a right? Is there really a right? Is there is there a to- is there a simple? This is this is the right perspective, um, or is it all interpretation? I don't know. I had said in the prior words from the Pet Cats podcast that basically, man, that it's basically the the, the right is. Um, who can get the most people? Who can get the most people to agree on that viewpoint is the right. But I don't necessarily know if that's true. That might not be true. You know what I mean? The the the, the sun. We look at the sun. We see the sun. The sun. We all can agree. There's a big glowing object in the sky um, every day. Usually, sometimes it varies in size and intensity and lightness. But usually, daily, this big glowing ball of light or whatever the star, whatever it actually is. I mean, this is what we call with the language I'm using. The sun, this I'm using English language and we describe it as the sun. It's it's full of gases and this this and that. And that's how we see it from my perspective. And and that's what it is. We know that's in the sky. But um. Maybe someone else sees that and like, no, that's um, actually not gas. That's not the sun. That's actually a god, which they used to do back in the day. They used to call the sun the god back in the day. The sun was a god back in the days of some cultures. Nowadays, it's just a big ball of gas that floats in the side of the sky and keeps us hot. Very hot, actually. It's been making it very hot recently. Very hot. It does heat. It does lots of heat. It produces lots of heat. It's very hot. But um, it's, it's all how we perceive things. And, um... It was gentlemen perceived me that way, and so so what we should do if we perceive we're perceived in a fashion that doesn't agree with our perception of ourselves, is not necessarily get mad about that, not get angry about that. Just be okay. We know that this gentleman feels this way, and that's his perspective. But I don't believe that is true. I know how I see myself, and I know how I am, and I believe that's the true way to view myself. I mean, but don't worry about that particular person's viewpoint or perspective. That's his viewpoint, her viewpoint, and they can feel and think that way. But I don't necessarily believe in that. Because a lot of people might get mad about that. You know, you're looking at me this way. You perceive me this way. That's not right. I'm mad. I'm gonna, we're going to be some conflict here. And that's not necessary, man. It's not necessary at all. It's so not necessary. You know, we all perceive the things we perceive the way we perceive them. And we should just be okay with that. But that's not, and I know that's not the way the real world works whatsoever at all. Not at all. Because a lot of people, man, they want to shove their perception down your throat. And they want to tell you this is the way it is. And if you don't believe that, we're going to force you to believe it. There's a lot of people doing bad stuff out there because they don't perceive things the way they perceive them to be. And they want to make you, me, perceive them in that fashion. Lots of groups out there doing that. Lots of people out there doing that. Which is unfortunate. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's really not that deep. It's not that deep. We don't need to. It's not that deep. If I don't believe, perceive the way you perceive, man. It's just let it go. Chill and do your thing over there. I'm doing my thing over here. Just, 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 just chill. But it's, you know, it's the way this, the way the world is. So anyways, man, you know, this dude telling me that I don't have no girlfriend or perceive me not to have a lady and maybe someday I'll get one. I mean, think, I mean everybody perceives things differently, you know what I'm saying? Um, so it's interesting, you know, so it's interesting that, you know, that we, because we're all human beings. We all got arms and legs and hair and, and eyes for the most part. Most everybody has those things. And we talk, we can speak, we can look, we can hear, we can listen. We can all do those things. We all have brains. We all have the same thing. We all have, we all, prefer, we're all pretty much the same. We're all the same for the most part, but the same. But the, the interesting how uh, all the, the various factors that, 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 that as we grow and come up and how we are raised and, and the things we read and just the various things can influence us that we all can see things so differently because when we're all human beings we're pretty much the damn same for the most part ain't no human being i know flying i tell you that nobody flying not one human being i know flies not one human being i know can breathe in space not one human being i know can uh you know shoot lasers from the eyes man they're not we're not doing it we're all the same we all eat food we gotta eat we gotta go to the bathroom we gotta sleep we we walk with feet, you know what I mean? We all ache when we're sore, you know what I mean? We need to breathe. Um, you know, we all do the same shit. But um, anyways, it's interesting how we all can see things so differently. It's crazy, man. It's so crazy. 
But anyways, I, I don't even know why I'm talking about this. I had to talk about it because it was interesting. The guy perce- you know, perceived it differently. And like I said, on these podcasts, words from the captain, I just get out here and talk about random stuff, man. Sometimes the random stuff is cool. Sometimes it's not. But um, like I do these, I do the podcasts I do because hopefully, um, first of all, it helps me um, relieve some stress i mean not that i'm stressed or nothing not this thing that i'm talking about is stressful but just the act of doing creative stuff and this to me this is creative it's talking podcasting is creative helps me relieve some stress and release some energy and just just flow and pass the time and chill whatever and hopefully if you're hearing this podcast you might be um you know you might be waiting for something you'll be waiting somewhere or driving somewhere and hopefully this helps pass your time man um and uh maybe you maybe thought about something that you didn't think about or maybe you have thought about what I'm saying. You know, you've thought about everything I said. Maybe you know everything I just said. That's great. You probably do because the internet, a lot of information out there. There's lots of books out there that's talked about this very thing I just talked about. Um, but if you knew and you learned something from this, that's awesome. If you didn't and you know way more than I know about this subject, that's great too, man. That's awesome. Maybe you can hear me talk and say, yeah, this guy's all right. He got a lot to learn. There's no doubt. I'm learning every day, all the time, constantly, man. And um, you're going to go along with me on that journey if you keep listening to these podcasts. So I want to thank you for tuning in and hearing words from the captain and hear me talk about the random stuff in, in the world that I see when I'm walking around on planet Earth and looking at all this craziness in 2017. And I want to thank you for joining me. Thank you very much. And um, until next time, these are the words from the captain.